Hello everybody and welcome to this amazing story. Now we are going to try to narrow this amazing story called The Murders in the Rue Morgue. This story begins with one mysterious character and he starts to say or explaining that when you have the capacity it gives you an extraordinary happiness. He starts saying that we will know an important character in this story and he has the most amazing capacity to know or resolve this crime because a crime would be committed. Basically he is saying that he is just uh, telling to us a problem about this narrative. Something important to say is that this mysterious character doesn't have a name. So for that reason we will name the mysterious character because we don't know in reality his name. So our mysterious character is telling us that he compared the knowledge with the chest as we know it is a game and he say that the knowledge is like a game of chess where you need to know what your court trinkant is thinking and think in your next movement and try to win so in that way he say that is something similar in another comparison that he did is about character compare the knowledge with the routes Chinese but he said that this game you don't need to have the mm, complete concentration so you just need to to have like the specific movement because you can only move in one step so in that way he said that is a game where you don't need to have the entire concentration but despite of all he said that is an intense game where you can prove your abilities using the real life by last he or mysterious character he said that to observe carefully is to remember clearly because he thinks that the most important is observe carefully because if you observe carefully in some cases you can have information that other can't see because you are paying attention to a little details and it is better than remember clearly for this mysterious character Also, the analytical faculty should be not be confused with the simple genuity. Genuity. What it means? It means that for this character, the analytical faculty is more important and should not be confused with simple ingenuity. Because the analytical faculty it is something that gives you like an advantage according to the thoughts of these characters. Okay, later of this introduction that the mysterious character is giving us, we will start with the real story. So the mysterious character is narrowing us about Dupin. Dupin was an important character in this story because he likes the detective stories and he has some specific thing that help to think in a fast way than the other. Dupin was a man with not much money. He likes books and for that reason this story begins in a library. The mysterious character said that he was in the library when suddenly appears Dupin and both of them was 
searching a specific book. And suddenly, they begin to start and Dupin say about the story of his family to the mysterious character. So he start to listen with too much attention the word that the other is saying. And Dupin say that uh, he know a lot. And suddenly the narrator decide live with Dupin in an old house because he say that he, his work was like magic for him. So he say that he might to know more about this amazing character called Dupin. The narrator said that Dupin was a person who really likes the book. So he always was reading about important things like books and newspapers and thinking about the crimes that are being committed around the city. And suddenly he said that for Dupin something changed because his family lost all the money and he became to be poor. So for that reason he doesn't have the no money to have a life like the other have between expensive expensive things. So he say the narrator say that he had the no money to buy the things that he wants eh, but he doesn't have a place where he can live live so for that reason they start to live together and then I rather say that he bought some uh, furniture that were necessary in the house and in this way an amazing friendship has started character became to live in a big house and he expressed that the house was located in a old town where anyone want to live so the only who was living in that place was Dupin because he doesn't have the no money so the Dupin start to do some things that took the attention of the narrator and he said that Dupin never sleep and he always was reading and writing during the night he really likes to read and he said that he started to do the same the action that Dupin was doing were copied by the other and the narrator start to do the same activities during the, during the night like things in books or in criminal case so the friendship between them was in a good way and he explained that who something that have notices about Dupin is that Dupin had an incredible ability to analyze and imagine the things as for example the case that the case that appears in the in the news when Dupin read he said the possibilities about this case about who was committed and it is something awesome for the narrator and at this point at this part I will say when they access the house they tough if no one saw them left the way they went they looked for them and found them came out of a window which was silent but they managed to break them they stay at the crime stand waiting for him to return the murder in ha if when if they went back and told then what had happened 
He had a species similar to that of an orangutan. He was agile and very strong. He kept him in his room, always locked up, and that night, when he returned, the animal was very ruddy. He went to feed him, like every day, but he left the window open and the animal pushed him. The man followed him until he saw that the animal was getting into a house, and it was in which the murder was committed. The man was very unsuspect because he believed that they would return him to his natural habit, but in the end, he recovered their animal and they solved the crime. He, he roamed. Alfonso Calcio declares having heard some voice, but didn't know what they were saying because they speak in another language. Alberto Montani also hear those voice, but he only understood a few words. Several witnesses said the chimneys were too narrow for a body to pe pass through and so they didn't know where the killer coal had passed. Mademoiselle Luz Penis body was so deep inside the fireplace that they could barely carry up. The young Luz Penis had been strangled by one or more unknown persons. The police are confused by the apparent absence of morbid, not because the, of the murder itself, but because of the atrocity of this murder. They are also confused by the apparent impossibility of reconciling the boys here in the discussion with the fact that no one was found about but the corpse of Mademoiselle Penis and that where was no way out without the people who went out to notice it. Maran and Mademoiselle Penis had not been killed by, by spirit. The criminal were flesh and blonde and escaped as flesh and blonde being. There are two windows in the room. One of them is completely free of furniture and completely visible. The first window was found firmly secured inside. The door resisted all the thrusts of those who tried to leave it. Examining the other window, a similar cloth was found embedded in a vigorous attempt to leave the French fall in the same way. The police were completely satisfied that the escape had not taken place on that side and consequently it was the man who fled to remove the cloth and open the window. The murderer must have escaped through the other window, supposing in such case that the spring of the frames work in the same way. As it was probable there should be some difference between the other clothes, at least in the way placing them. Perching on the canvas bed, I peered over the head of the second window. Running my head behind, I soon discovered impressive spring which as I had to test beforehand 
was entirely equal to its companion then I looked for the for the club. It was to stick and the other and it was fit apparently the same way stone for the head. Thus the photo was the soul. The color had to keep to throw the other window. Overlooking the bed, falling spontaneously in place, and so perhaps on purpose, it was secured by the club. And then, the turn of the club produced the hero of the police that the judge came from the club of the resistance, considering further investigation in it. The next problem was the way down. The police had probably examined the back of the house and the house, but the police did not notice that the way this of the wind for a wind could not be broken in the consideration in the air, persuaded that there was no way out in this precise. The natural the glaring close to the examination, it was also evident that by bringing an extraordinary degree of vigor and audacity into play, in strike could be made through the window by installing the lighting rod. When this distance of two and a half feet had been researched, assuming the blind was open to its full extent, he could find the solid thief leaning on the tree. At these words, a certain big and formless conception of the idea, my father and my mother seemed on the verge of understanding as if something happened. That we feel on the verge of recollection without finally giving shape to the meaning. Okay, what do you believe? You will observe. Let us look at the appearance of the decoration here. The dresser drawers which they have been looked out through many ornaments were still there. This conclusion is absurd. If the thief has caused any, why should they not take them all? Why have we not put thousand friends in gold to get with a pack of rats? Gold has been abandoned. Under the true circumstances, we believe that gold was disguised as the friend. We will have to judge the criminal so idiot and incapable as to abandon both of his gold and his money. We have here a woman thrown by the force of her hand and with her side down in a fair place. The more there do not originally employ such means, the fewer people dispose of the forces in such a way. This proves how enormous the force must have been to pull in the parts of in a family, so narrow that they committed the force of several men was hardly enough to draw it down. A madman, the author of this murder, has been a madman. So many escaped from any normal nation in some place. In a way, we are glad it's not the ability, but the voice of Madden, even its most foolish person, has never agreed with the description of the peculiar voice heard above. Madden have some nationality in their language, also inconsistent in their phraseology, always has the corner of the syllable of hair. Also, hay of madness is not similar to what I have in my hand. Do think. This hair is not unusual, it is not human hay. When the inspector and his friend enter to the room, he discovers something interesting. When he saw the windows, he said, I get it! Dun, dun, dun. What you mean, says the other guy. Okay, let me explain you. The motor had to go to buy the window, and when he entered, he killed the girls. And then, when he had done that, he ran away by the window. And how you can say that? said the man. I know it because I'm already discovered this, but actually, I'm almost already discovered this. And now we are going to see what else we can find here. Let's go to see the two. The two men are right on your table. And the inspector says, Hmm, this smells really bad. Oh, what, 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 what are you doing? Nothing, nothing. It was just a clip. And when the inspector could see that he more closer, he saw, I get it. This is a hair. And that are blues. That are blues. And the man says, And eh, what do you mean by that? And the inspector said, I get it. 
who killed the Dukas was a man. It wasn't human. He could be a human. Just look at that hair. That hair is for something that is not human. And then he get close to the window. When he saw to the window, he could see something interesting in the window. Yeah, and you see, he could see a ship, and that attract his attention. What can be doing a ship in that place? Because it wasn't usual that a ship arrived to that city, and no matter in that time, and the man start to say, hmm, we had to go on to that ship, let's go. When the two guys arrived until the sheet, they heard a woman that was screaming. Hey, hey, somebody hear me? And the inspector get his attention and he get more close to her. Hey, what are you are saying, girl? Oh, no, I'm screaming because I lost my, my pet and, and I cannot find it. A pet? What do you mean by pet? Uh, well, actually, it is a monkey. A monkey. Okay, tell me more about that monkey. Well, I lose my monkey last night. Last night you lose your monkey. What else? Uh, my monkey has a knife. Has a knife. Okay, okay, okay. I get it, I get it. I know. I'm already discovered this thing. And now we are going to see it. Thank you for the information. And okay, but who is going to help me to find my monkey? I don't know, but I discovered who killed both girls. When he back with his friend, he rediscovered. What? What do you mean by that? I'm already discovered. The killer was a monkey. What? How can that possible? Now, get back to the prison and in the road, I'm going to tell him the whole story. Okay, when both friends were talking, while they were walking, walking like a talkie, walking, walking like a talkie, the man asked to him, Hey, but tell me, who, who, who was that story or how the monkey killed the girls? Okay. Let me tell you this story. Let's go. First, he explains that the monkey entered by the window with a knife in his hand. When the monkey entered through the room, he saw the two girls. And when the two girls saw him, he got scared and the monkey started to get crazy with the knife on his head. When the monkey get crazy, he start to kill and he cut the head of one of the women. And another one was, oh, oh my mama. And the monkey got, oh, 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 I kill him. Oh. And the monkey was so, so angry and crazy. And then the monkey killed both of the girls. And when the girls were dead, he started to scream. Oh, 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 oh. And with blood in his body, he ran away out to the room. That's how we back to here. When the inspector arrived to the jail, he said to the prisoner, you can get free guy, you are free. I'm already discovered who killed the two girls and it wasn't you, take care of you. And then the prisoner start to get free. He was. I've had so. myself and kicked in my face, but I can't breathe. I go on, 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 on. We are the champions, my friends. At the end of the day, the inspector and his friend were so happy because they already discovered who killed the two girls and he and his partner were working as well and already have another case resolved and 
that's the story of the inspector in France. They go through the world to see what else they can find.